Hello friends, welcome back once again in the learning contents of the introduction of the composite material. Now in the previous lectures that we have seen the different techniques to manufacture the composite material and uh, in the previous lectures that we have seen something, something about the introductory part of the composite materials, then what are the different fibers used to prepare the composite laminates, what are the different resins that we are used to prepare the composite material and the application of the composite material. Now in the today's lecture that we are going to focus on the manufacturing aspects of the composite material as in the last lecture that we have discussed about some sort of the challenges in the composite material. The composite material is not the homogeneous material and we have to add the different kind of that layers and whatever may be the errors or we can be able to say defects that has been occurred in the composite material because of this manufacturing techniques. So because of this manufacturing aspect, this is the main challenge when we are just going to prepare some sort of that composite structures or composite laminates. So what are the different techniques that recently uh, used that we are going to discuss in this today's lecture. Also the more uh, one of the more uh, fortunate learning thing in this particular lecture contained that we are just going to see some sort of that videos how the composite material will be gets manufactured. So basically this particular contents will be required more lectures so it is not possible to complete all those manufacturing techniques in a single lecture. Again, uh, we are just going to upload some sort of the different techniques of the composite materials and definitely friends, these all videos are made just only for the educational purpose, just for the learning purpose of the students. Now, what are the today's contents of the lecture that here we are just going to cover back molding process and compression molding process. In this today's lecture, again, the hand lap method and pultrusion, if it is possible, possible, then we are just going to cover those methods. Otherwise, we are just going to cover these two methods in the next lectures. So what is the bag molding process? This is actually the schematic diagram of the bag molding process. Definitely, by observing this particular uh, diagram might be uh, many more things will not be gets cleared easily but we are for that purpose just we are going to see some sort of that uh, video contents in this today's lecture. So first of all just I will discuss about this particular schematic of the bag molding process so that you will get some sort of that idea how this particular bag molding or what is the meaning of bag molding process. Now bag molding in the bag molding process basically the vacuum bag kind of that thing it is prepared and uh, these plastic breathers or non-forous teplons some sort of that uh, aluminium plate or again the, there is one more layer of the non-forous teplon and the bleeder and the finally this will be a laminate means porous teplon non-forous teplons so these kind of that uh, things were used and then the laminate were prepared through this particular technique. So here you can be able to observe some sort of that aluminum tool plate and uh, this will be a dam through that they, we can be able to just provide to opening for the resins kind of that thing. Now definitely uh, through this diagram it is a little bit difficult to understand how the exactly the manufacturing will be gets carried out and for that purpose uh, I'm, I will just show you one video related to this bag molding process or uh, how the bag molding process will be used to manufacture the different composite laminates. So just observe this particular content very carefully so that you can be able to get the idea about this particular technique very easily. Now here you can be able to see this is one of the technique that we can be able to say this particular mold is prepared and this is the one of the shape of the particular composite laminate. This is a very simple shape. Now how this particular manufacturing process begins. 
so first of all uh, the for in the first step the preparation of mold is carried out and here you can be able to see some sort of that teflon that has been used so this is the non ferrous teflon and this will be the particular area of the mold so in this particular area of the mold first of all the cleaning uh, will be takes place because they just want to remove all kind of that dust through it and then this will be a some sort of that teflon tape here you can be able to see the teflon tape is applied on the corners of this particular mold so this is actually the shape of this particular mold now through inside means here they are just showing how to use this teflon so when you want to make the corners just take care of that here some of some sort of that vacuum should not be gets entered or some air should not be gets entered into this particular mold so that while making the corners you just apply the teflon tips very carefully and again in the second step now how the particular manufact that preparation of the material so this is you can be able to understand in the last lecture that we have shown how the carbon fibers are looking like so this is the sheet of the carbon fiber now whatever may be the required according to the dimensions of the mold they, they are just going to cut uh, the carbon fibers so that they have just removed one layer of the carbon fiber so that they can be able to make a mark from where they are making the cut now this is one kind of that pill ply so uh, we can be able to just for the easy for the understanding purpose we can be able to say this is one kind of that uh, type of the cloth it is there so here you can be able to see again the perforated film again you can be able to say this is one kind of that plastic paper that is used it just to mix that particular mold properly now three layers that is one of the carbon fiber second is ply means some sort of that cloth and now there are the two layers of the breather they are just taking for that again this is one kind of that clean cloth it is there or foaming kind of that thing you can be able to say so that we can be able to easily apply means this is one of the one layer of the release film that has been again used on this plies okay so the different kind of that plies they have make together so what diagram that we have seen there are different kind of that plies are applied okay now this all plies they are just going to use in this particular mold so that the exact composite laminate what is required we can be able to prepare of that now the next step that is uh, the vacuum to create the vacuum it is vacuum pump is required so whatever may be this resin trap means here the resins will be there so that the resin will be flow through this now this is the testing of the vacuum chamber that is required so here you can be able to see the pressure gauge so that we can be able to keep the pressure properly so before applying it you just go first of all and check whether the required pressure we can be able to gain or not now here again the tip is applied so that we can be able to remove all kind of that or we can be able to create all kind of that vacuum in it now this is the epoxy resin and again they are going to add the hardener in that okay so there is some sort of that proportion and whatever may be this uh, pumps they have just used so they have just have the set of that particular contain so the exact quantity of the epoxy resin will be gets added as well as the exact quantity of the hardener will be gets added now the resin different resins here again you can be able to use for the manufacturing purpose okay now this particular 
resin that will be gets applied okay initially now this is the carbon fiber sheet initially from that um, longer sheet they have just removed the required sheet according to the dimension of the mold now resin will be gets thoroughly applied on that particular carbon fibers now this particular carbon fiber is now set into that particular mold and the excess fibers or we can be able to say excess part of that particular sheet will be gets removed and again the resin will be applied very thoroughly so that the required resin will be gets applied on this carbon sheet Now this will be uh, applied according to the content. So all that particular contents will be gets applied on this. Now the different layers that what we have seen that will be applied on this. Now after making the carbon layer, now that ply will be gets added or you can be able to say cloth that is added again the resin will be get supplied so that whatever may be the minor some sort of that porous particle will be get remained that will be get soaked so this is again we can be able to see that plastic kind of that paper that will be gets applied and again the different layers of the litter ply will be gets <coughs> applied over here so onto the corners we can be able to see that it will be applied very thoroughly and properly now you can be able to see very carefully they are just going to prepare this particular mold and the, all the layers what they are going to apply Now this is with the vacuum pump only they have make the opening of this particular vacuum pump at the corners and whatever may be this this particular plastic paper they are just applying properly at the corners and once that particular vacuum will be gets created now they, they are just taking care that the additional air should not be gets entered into this particular system so all that particular air will be gets removed thoroughly and likewise they are just making this particular mold very carefully
So this is the only challenge in this particular manufacturing processes. If we are just not done this particular uh, preparation, means mold preparation properly, then there are the chances that uh, the error will be gets generated or manufacturing def defects will be get generated. Now here you can be able to observe that how this particular mold is carefully prepared. So every each and every corner they have just um, make sure that all that particular ear will be gets release okay and means additional air should not be gets entered into the system now they are just checking that whether there should be uh, any leakages remains or not in this particular system so the all the leakages will be gets removed and now here you can be able to see how once that particular vacuum pump when it gets started to soak all that particular air how this will be applied the pressure now after making that they are just removing all that particular additional layers of this sheets and here you can be able to see that the required structure of this particular composite laminate that we have occurred. This is very simple uh, structure we can be able to say. But while removing that all particular cloths, all particular plastic papers, so this will be gets very thoroughly jammed because of that resin epoxy resin now this is actually the proper mold of, of that now this is the composite mold now initially you have seen that this is a very straight particular sheet and now this is here you can be able to see that how that particular shape is given to that now this is the finishing means that whatever the corners were there of that fiber they are just making sure that all that corner should be gets removed and they are just applying the particular epoxy in onto that particular corners because might be there is some sort of that little bit of damages at the corner and through this particular resin they can be able to cover up this now this is the uh, alternative resin trap will be there how to apply the resin this is actually the alternative technique all kind of that thing they have just made and here you can be able to see they have just taken care that the air should not be gets entered okay. so through that whatever may be the resin will be there that resin will be thoroughly applied that will be thoroughly moved okay so i hope that uh, today whatever the back molding process this particular process will be gets cleared to all of you and in the next lecture that uh, just we are going to see some sort of the different other techniques now again once again related to the te techniques uh, just take care that whatever may be the mold we are preparing uh, that should not be generate any kind of that defects inside the system and whatever may be this particular uh, resin that we are applying on it that will be thoroughly sprayed on that onto that particular uh, fiber sheet so that uh, it should not be have any kind of that uh, means there is some sort of a chances that excess flow of the resin may be possible or less flow of the resin may be possible so the some part of that particular fibers may remains 
apply applied without any kind of better reason so all these particular uh, things and might be in the video that you have seen that uh, whatever may be this particular resin that has been applied very thoroughly and they have taken care uh, while manufacturing all particular mold very properly so this will be uh, enough for the today's lecture again the different techniques related to the compression molding then related to the pultrusion then filament winding process so all those contents that we will cover into the next lecture so